Hey Spartans, well, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Now today we do have some things to kind of talk about today. We do have some news and a lot of just not necessarily positive things going on with Halo Infinite right now. Not the greatest look for the game, not its greatest state. Don't get me wrong, Season 3's launch in general has been pretty positive, but there's been a little bit of backlash. Timestamps in the description, let's hop right into it. So currently, the Halo Infinite fandom is angry, very angry, with the community update for the customization preview released on March 6th. They talked about a lot of good things. They talked about the Mirage Core, the Chimera Core, all that fun stuff. But no mention of Cross Core. Now, if you're not entirely familiar with Cross Core, I did do another video on that. But it has been teased by 343 for over a year now at this point. Let's listen to Jerry Hook recap again. And we really lost uh, uh, incorrectly the strength that Reach and uh, Halo 3 brought to the franchise of allowing players to really mix and match everything. And uh, we, again, we knew we'd have some struggles there. We didn't realize it would be as bad as it was. So um, if you didn't catch our blog last time, we are looking to move away completely from the core system. Um, and what that means for season two is you'll start seeing uh, specifically what I would call in canon cores. So, you know, your Spartan five to seven to, you know, whatever we're doing for infinite on a canon perspective, uh, we're trying to make that ubiquitous. So if you earn a coding, it's usable across all of those cores, or if you earn a shoulder piece, it's usable across all those cores. So after that promise, where is it? Where is cross core? We got a brief update for visors, but where is the rest of it? Today, we may have some unfortunate news related to that. There was a controversial bundle put in the store, the Epsilon Spring Bundle. Now, what's so controversial about this, you may ask? Well, it is one single coating. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice coating. It is one single coating for all armor cores and weapons, 14 US dollars. They are monetizing cross core on a level that is absolutely unacceptable to the point where the community is rallying together. They are promoting feedback threads to 343 in places they know where they look, everything from the subreddit to even their brand new TikTok that they kind of just made. They're asking all over the place, cross core when, where is this? We haven't had updates for this since the drop pod in August that allowed players to cross core all different visors. So where is it? We are at a point now in the game's life cycle where this is the number one thing the community is asking for and the lack there of this feature is hurting the game. Don't get me wrong, the gameplay on a fundamental level is fun, great, all of the new events that they're doing like Big Team Battle Unlimited, the Arena Unlimited playlist, all of those things are great. 343 is killing it on that front. They're learning from their mistakes from seasons one and two, and they're doing fantastic on that front. I applaud them on that. They did great. But this is a fundamental feature of the game at this point that I'm worried is becoming what happened with split screen development for Halo Infinite. They promised it for us for a while, they talked about it, they've been constantly teasing it, delaying it, and eventually just canceling it. So that's not great. This isn't a great look for the game, this isn't a great look for 343 as a whole, and it's just getting worse with the release of this store bundle. So I really, really hope that they address this issue, this controversy, in a timely fashion. In terms of good news, other than Season 3's launch and the things I was praising earlier, like regarding the Arena BTB Unlimited playlists, those are doing fantastic. I definitely praise them on that front. But 343 also released a patch within a week of the game's launch to address a lot of the game issues that are going on right now. For example, frame rates on Xbox Series consoles was being very buggy and wouldn't go higher than 90 frames per second. They increased ability in the customization menu. That was a big issue right away at launch for season three. It was very buggy as you were inspecting and customizing your Spartans, which was unfortunately very frustrating. Nonetheless, I am glad that they addressed this issue as quickly as they did. 
They also fixed an issue with dropping objective objects such as the flag or oddball, making flag juggling once again a good strategy for the game. And there's a bunch of other fixes. There's actually some theater fixes that they released also. So thank you 343 for fixing theater. That has been a highly requested fix for the game for a very long time. And then just some general bug fixes with Halo Infinite on PC. But other than that, Halo Infinite has taken one step forward with what we've been asking for and two steps backward and how they're handling it. I really hope that they can address this feedback in some manner, shape, or form, whether it's a community live stream or even a Twitter post from Unishek kind of clarifying the state of Crosscore or just the state of Halo Infinite in general. I mean, we still have not gotten any sort of roadmap for the game. So other than that, come on. 343, if you are watching this video, I really hope you take this feedback to heart. I really hope that you're listening to the community and that you're understanding what we're asking for and that you can implement that in a timely manner. With that, I'm going to wrap up this video. There was a lot that we talked about. Just out of curiosity, if you're enjoying this season so far, definitely drop a comment or drop a comment on some sort of feedback. I would love to have some sort of discussion with you guys on where your feelings are at for the game and how you feel that the game is being handled, how you feel where the game could go in the future. I would love to have a discussion with you guys on that. Anyways, have a great rest of your day, Spartans, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.